What's up, guys? My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we're reacting to 10 minutes of Nick Cummins being the honey badger. This video was recommended to us by Conga Brew Haha. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for the suggestion. We truly appreciate it, guys. If you want to suggest a video, go ahead and, and click into our description down below and click on the Discord link. You can throw any links to videos appropriately in our Discord. So I am kind of curious of why they call him the Honey Badger. So we got a NFL player. His name is Tyron Matthew. And he goes by, his nickname is the Honey Badger. Really? He's a bad dude, too. He is fast. He will take you down terrifyingly big. Yeah. So. Uh, guys, before we hop into this video, if you would, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. It truly helps us out. Uh, also, if you would, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. That way you guys can stay informed on our future videos. And if you'd like to help support the channel even more, <coughs> you can click the join button down below. So let's hop in let's and check this honey badger out. Have uh, you yeah, ever heard of that Bible story of um, you know, Samson and, uh, and Delilah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Did you say Samson What's and Delilah? Do I I'm think doing, so. so. <laughs> <laughs> you see his leg popped yeah. up up there. <laughs> <laughs> The jury is still out on whether getting Cummins in front of the mic helped or hindered promoting the game, considering they could barely understand him. <laughs> I only just started wearing a mouth guard. Um, I suppose uh, two years I played without without wearing a mouth guard until uh, yeah, I finally got got some. Uh, I got a whack on the on the gob and uh, on the what? On the on the gob on the uh, on the mouth on the, gob. On, the, <laughs> the gob. on the laughing gear we call it. Nick White was also on hand to make sense of the situation, which was a hard task at times. You know how someone cracks a packet of Tim Tams. His pop. She was pretty. Yeah, she was. <laughs> yeah. Around the group, and you sort of half slide it on. So not. Hold on. Packs a packet of Tim Tams. What does he say? Passed around the group, and you sort of half slide it on. So not not completely off. It's just half off, and everyone just takes it as it goes around. And you're thinking, hang on, this how many how many in a pack? How many people are there? <laughs> yeah, because there's only like in a regular pack, there's only like twelve of them. Yeah. They're so limited. He's getting so serious about it, though. No, he's dead on, though. Like, it's stupid. Like, Look, that is a face of concern. <laughs> like, how many are there left? And I do know they have, like, the large pack, which we have yet yeah. to get. Am I going to get one? <laughs> Heart starts racing. You know, this is a big moment. They're delicious. It comes to you, and you know that you can't see anything. You have to lift off the whole packaging. <laughs> and there's one right at the end here. And you're the last person there. And you go. <laughs> that feeling right there is got nothing to do with what I saw when I went and saw Tania on the side of the road. <laughs> but she looked great. <laughs> when you come into this sort of game, you got What do we have that compares to Tim Tams? Like, the whole country seems to be behind Tim Tams. I don't think we have anything. Ketchup? <laughs> You gotta try ketchup. Yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> You've never had it before. It's with tomatoes. I really don't think we have anything that like the whole country agrees on. Like it's but, just amazing. Yeah, I don't think we do. Like even with fast food, we have arguments. Yeah. In and out versus uh Whataburger and uh Carl's Jr. I found out they have Carl's Jr. Somebody mentioned that they in have, Australia? Yeah. Carl's Jr. fries are the bomb diggity. No, they aren't. I suppose you've got to show the patience of the Dalai Lama initially. Yeah, get down there. It's um, it's going to be a screamer. Um, and if I'm playing, I promise to uh, <laughs> have a good crack and um, maybe get a bit of meat. <laughs> but it's a big promise, but um, if I'm playing. Oh, he was, uh, He's he was easy to like understand. A bag of cats at a greyhound meet there before the game, but he, he managed to uh, get over for some meat. A bit of meat. I mean, hopefully off set piece, but I'll take any meat that's on offer, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what excites us the most is getting out there and expressing ourselves with not the pressure of competition. What is you know? going on? You nearly on? got a try on that left hand side. What happened? <laughs> oh, but I've gone up and over and had a head over biscuit. It was head a, over uh, biscuit. It, was a, it wasn't enough stability there for myself, but um, no, I was busting for a bit of meat this game. It didn't seem to work out. What's your philosophy on attack with this team? 
into them, basically. Um, up the guts and then, uh, yeah, swing it wide and, and uh, in the corner. I have no idea what he just said. I mean, I know what he said. It, yeah, he's saying he's going to go straight to them. I just didn't, I couldn't translate it into. Yeah, he was like, uh, how are you going to attack? It's going to be straight to them, go up and into the corner. Okay. And finally, um, Honey Badger, your nickname. Can you explain why? A, a badge. Um, oh, look, you know, long story short, basically, uh, there's a documentary on uh, National Geographic or Animal Planet, one of them Fox bloody setups. And um, yeah, I, I watched this, this thing, and this Honey Badger was going toe to toe with a with male lion. And um, yeah, they don't. They managed to, it was un underneath him, well, an underdog, obviously, but he on his back. Clawing away. I don't think they are. Too, and then, buddy, underdogs. The the big fella um, got his canasters clawed off, and and he <laughs> trotted off around the corner and fell over. And the badger gets back up, and I thought, what an animal! You know, that's, <laughs> really, that's impressive. <laughs> Thanks so much. Good to meet you. Thank you very much. Good. How exciting is it to play in a in a lion series? Oh, mate, um, very exciting, and um, to even get a chance. Even Big Sharp, he hasn't done it. He's done everything else. Known to me, and so um, yeah, if I, if I end up getting a gig, mate, I'll be uh, going off like a cut snake. So I got to ask, what's your take on giving yourself nickname? Me personally, just in yeah, like I'm gonna ask them as well. Like, do you believe that you should be able to give your own nickname? Yeah, that's basically what he just said he did. Yes and no. Like I'm gonna show up to like a new school. Everybody at my old school will call me Big Dog. You can call me whatever though. I mean, you can call me snake or gangster, whatever, you know? I mean, you've, you've given them a nickname for you. Well, that was given to me. But how did they know? I mean, I, I promise. I mean, it's not that <laughs> big of a deal, but it was given to me. I right. didn't, it was a college nickname. Yeah. So like his, the honey badger, he said he got off of geographic. So do you believe that you should be the one to give, like in the military, in the U.S. military, my ex-wife, her nickname was Dude. Mm -hmm. Because she was like one of the dudes. Right. Like she was tough. So, but in the military, it's always a given nickname. It's never uh, made my own nickname. Right. So do you believe that you should be able to come up with your own nickname? Or do you believe that it should be given? I believe wholeheartedly it should be given. No. I've never had a nickname that I've made up myself that anybody would actually call me. Right. I've tried. But again, nobody like, wants to call me Snake. It's like, whatever. cool. My mom won't even call me that. Yeah, my, I was like, cool, dude. Mom, mm -hmm. just call me cool. Just say I'm awesome. <laughs> Good loser, son. Look <laughs> at that wink. I love the hair. Mate, what an experience, huh? I heard he you gets know, perms. I've done sevens before, Shut so I, I'm, I'm kidding. I, I believe I can, I can assist. <laughs> that used to be and a thing. At the same time, you know, he's got an natural experience curl. Experience like that, you can uh, tell your grandkids when they don't care. Um, and I mean, what is the secret when when it comes to handling snakes? Just not be too rough. Um, you know, wet your hands if you can. Just that way, it, it slides better in your hand. I feel like you're making this up. You're dead right. How busy will be? Well, you'll probably be as busy as a one-legged man in a bum kicking comp. <laughs> a butt kicking comp. You shot the first couple of days, but you sort of you snap back into it, and then you just got that Indian Ocean, mate. Sunsets, buddy. Sheila under your arm. What more can you want? Talk us through how you how you play. Did you understand so, that? Oh, look, no, Not the ending. Oh, no, With a Sheila yeah, under your arm, what more would you want? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Talk us through the facial expressions here. It looks like you've been vacuum packed. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to know was that was that how the move was supposed to work, or have you just gone? I'm well, having this. To be honest, we actually did not train that. That was just we no. made it up on the spot, mate. Yeah, yeah that's no, what no. bloody Barbar's rugby is, and that's why it's so enjoyable. Uh, I'm joined now by Nick Cummins, also known as the uh, AKA the Honey Bear, one of the best. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that in a couple seconds. Why I'm pretty sure the Honey Badger is classified as a bear. I think it is. No, I don't know. Um, basically, you, you waltz in there, you pay your uh, 3,000 yen, which is about 30 bucks, and she's all you can eat until they kick you out after two hours <laughs> um, until you've eaten too much. But um, they're very polite about how they remove you from the building, which is quite good. Pretty happy with the two tries? 
Oh, mate, you know, I don't want to talk about it. But, um, yeah, actually, there was two in the corner, um, <laughs> one, on, one down this side over here in the, in the first half there. It was bloody... Oh, it was great. Like uh, the ball popped out on, on the right here, and the and the boys were on it like a, like seagulls at a tip. And then they buddy they shipped it on. I spoke to Mozer. I said, Mozer, mate, take it yourself. And uh, and he did. And he's got wheels, so he gassed on the outside of the uh, second last defender. All I did was just just Johnny on the spot, wait there, one catch, two steps, place ball down. It's uh, chipped over the top, regained, and then scored in the corner. So um, Johnny on yeah, the mate, spot. It was, it, was, uh, it was good. The word on the street is, uh, you know, from hearing from the crowds, it's you're as tough as woodpecker lips. Uh, what would you say woodpecker to that? Woodpecker lips. So there was the National Poetry Championships were taking place and uh, there was two finalists. There was a, a bloke from University of New South Wales and there was a country bumpkin from our west. So they had 20 seconds to come up with a poem about Timbuktu. Up first, the uni- university student. Oh, he's recording. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, On the lonely desert sands... Crossed a lonely caravan. Men on camels, two by two. Destination, Timbuktu. The crowd went wild. Are you beauty? That's bloody fantastic. 20 seconds. And then Country Bumpkin's turn steps up to the plate and he goes, Tim and I, off hunting went, found three girls in a pop-up tent. <laughs> they were three and we were two. So I bucked one and Tim bucked two. <laughs> And in terms of sort of the, the cultural That's side, good. it's yeah. easy to get stuck in. Have you enjoyed different cultures? When you first turn up and you, you can't speak the language, you, you bloody find yourself trying to order some chicken, you're hovering over the table, you're bloody flapping your wings. And how hard is it? Just give me a bit of squawk up, bloody whack it on the plate. Yeah, yeah, I didn't realise uh, there was a medal involved, but he um, handed me a medal. I thought he, <laughs> it was great. He, I couldn't understand a word he said, but um, it was, um, he meant well. I know that. It's uh, one of them things, mate, you, you can't really uh, count your chickens before they hatch. Yeah, look, there's a couple of big who was getting about when the start of the... You know who he reminds me of? Huh. Gronkowski. Yeah. He's like an Australian version of Gronkowski. Yeah, just goofy and... and Party party doesn't really care yeah but is good at what he but, does and he's not a like a, like i don't think gronkowski is legitimately a douchebag right i think he's just a meathead yeah that doesn't think things out all the time but he never gets in trouble right so it's kind of like that's who i'd want on my team this kind of same thing like he's good for publicity mm-hmm. like people like hearing him talk when you got a compilation video you know you're good yeah because people want to hear you so i i, I dig it i love him this season turns up, the boys will be, uh, you know, going off like a like a bull in a china shop. Gentlemen, how are you guys feeling? Bloody, bloody terrific, uh, to be honest. It's a beautiful day today. Um, it's been a bit uh, windy the last couple of days, but we've got out in the jet boat, did a few 360s, and um, yeah, it's been terrific. So welcome to Big Ben, the Badger. I think we're actually waiting for the Prime Minister, who's uh, here to have a word with you. I yeah, I gave him a buzz. I gave him a buzz earlier. I said I might drop him around, you know, you know a bit of a. A couple of tins, maybe, you never know. <laughs> He's that kind of a man, actually. Are you, are you a man of politics? Are you interested in setting up the Badger Party when the playing days are done? You have well, a hell of a following. I'll tell you what, I've, I've already had a couple of Badger parties. Right. Um, <laughs> and they, Not necessarily in terms of running the country. Oh, hell no, but um, it's still a party. And they, and they don't, we don't muck around. Yeah, right. Well, we don't muck yeah, around. Like a rat up a drain pipe in one of them runs there. but uh, sweating like a gypsy with a mortgage, actually, when he, when he got up. <laughs> up <laughs> This time around, I was just thinking, I'm, I'm going to get out there and just go bananas. I've never heard that before. No. <laughs> Sweating like a gypsy with, with a mortgage. mortgage. So that's funny. It's still up there. Because, <laughs> you know, gypsies don't stick yeah. around. Yeah. You look pretty uh, experienced handling a snake, mate. You obviously do this quite often. Yeah, this one's a bit smaller than what I'm used to, but, um, <laughs> mate, same, uh, same texture. Oh, Same man. texture. You know, I, I sound like I've been bloody whacked in the Niagara Fall. Sorry about that. But welcome to Buckingham Palace. Are you a, are you a royalist or republican? Are you are you pro the Queen? She, she does she does her best, mate. And uh, I, I don't have any bad thing to say about her. Um, she's, she's a good bird, former flame. I don't want to you know say anything bad. Former about her. flame. So, uh, <laughs> tournament and um, mate, yeah, you should have passed it. But uh, we uh, will you get the chance just to slip your business card into Michael Checker's pocket? Just say. Don't forget me. I will hopefully be around and, and available. Oh, big check, mate. Uh, yeah, look, you know, I'm still on the burst. If you're, uh, if you're keen, just have, have a yarn to the uh, Japanese and, and get me on, get me on the burst. Come in. Bloody oath. Then uh, see you, blue. We're gonna bloody kick the tires and light the fires. So uh, get your jexy down, banging on a seat, and we'll uh, shake hands and tell a few stories after the game, eh? That, that wink at the very. I almost got it a blink. Son, 
He's up every now. He goes, and if you don't know what to say, you don't know how to answer it, just tell them what you did in the holidays. <laughs> so here they are. So now, the 20, 37th minute, uh, there was a change of play, and how do you feel that impacted the bloody result of the game? I'm like, holidays. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> and you just tell them a story, mate, because at the end of the day, people don't give a rat's about the question or the answer. They just want to be entertained by a story. He's so, wrong. That's yeah. a very accurate statement. Yeah, 100%. That like, is... Most of the time when I watch interviews, I just want to see how they interact with people. Well, they just want to get you on their channel. Yeah. Their news, you know. Uh, this is really good. Uh, I like Nick. What was I going to... I was going to say something else. I just can't even think of it. Um, shoot, I went blank. There was something that he said that I kind of was curious about, but I can't remember what I was going to ask. But yeah, no, the guy's awesome. I absolutely love him. Yeah, it makes me just, is he still playing? I would think so that these videos didn't look too old. 2021 is when this was posted. So. Yeah, so I'm guessing he's still playing. Yeah. Now, I do want to look up to see if Honey Badgers are bears. Despite its name, the honey badger does not closely resemble the badger species. Instead, it bears more anatomically... Weasels. Uh, weasels. Yeah. Huh. So it's it's like a weasel. But I know they're mean. They're mean as hell. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they have claws that will... I'm like, pretty sure I saw the video that, that he was talking about. I've seen a video where... I, recently, I watched a video about something... TikTok just leads me in so many different ways. And then, like, honey badgers killing snakes, like... Yeah, aren't they viciously? The, aren't they the ones that are like known to like? They used to do uh, like uh, king cobras versus I honey think badgers so. or something like that. Yeah, and the honey badger just knew how to move with the snake and yeah, take it out. So I mean, this was super it's a good, good nickname. super funny, uh, guys. Again, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. It truly helps us out. Also, if you would go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. And if you'd like to help support the channel even more, you can click the join button down below. Uh, and with that being said, my name is Miles. My name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out.